WXC 60. September 11th. Old champ versus the new champ. I'm gonna show you who the true champ. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we it's going down. What's your record right now? Uh, 12 and 3. Three. three knockouts, two submissions, four TKOs, three decisions. How'd you lose? Uh, early on, man, got out wrestled. Decision, all of them decision. Yeah? yeah. And a uh, single time TKO or uh, KO? No, right on, man. Uh, yeah, you're ready. This, this, this boy ain't, this, this ain't glass right here, man. You're ready, man. That's, that's this, ready this, right this there. Good for combat, man. Ready to put in that work. I ain't know that there's some truth to this, man. It's all fun right here, man. Where'd you grow up? Did you grow up here in Jackson? No, nah, man, North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah, New Bern, Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? So shout out, you know. Shout out to them boys down there, man. How the hell did you end up in Jackson? Should we not man, talk about yeah, that? We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk long, about that. Long story, man. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to do that on a documentary or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is. This is glove, man. Man, that's, that's that documentary. So where, well, you're like two years in right now, right? Uh, yep, just about, I mean, 18 months, a year and a half. Right. I'm so I've just been making noise, man. So, I mean, I've been doing what I'm doing, man. I love to do, I love to do this, man. Anything, it's like anything I put my mind to, though, like, I just go crazy, man, like, for real. Even when I was down south playing basketball, you know what I'm saying? That was, like, my first love, just hooping, AAU and all that. And then getting a scholarship to play for ECU. And then some stuff happened, you know what I'm saying? I lost the scholarship. So, I mean, it's in... And et cetera, et cetera, but you know, whatever I put my mind to, man. Is that what your real love for sports is? Is basketball? I mean, that was my first love. Now it's, it's mixed martial arts and boxing. I mean, boxing, it was boxing because I started boxing when I was 14, but like just in general, you know what I'm saying, going to the boxing gym, but MMA, man, like mixed martial arts is just stuck to me, man, because I still box and I still do this, but like, you just got to be a complete fighter, man. I just love the sport, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just love putting the work in. I just, I just love getting better and better, traveling all over. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just having fun, man. It's, it's a sport, too. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's a sport. Well, if your MMA is 11 and 3, what was your boxing record? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's 12 oh, that's and 3. combined? No, no. 12 and 3? 7 and 0 in boxing. Oh, know? wow. So, all right. 12 and 3 MMA. You, gotta, you, can't, you can't take the loss off. I mean, you can't take the win off. 12 and 3. 12. Yeah, you can't take the win off, man. You know what I'm saying? You can take a loss off. <laughs> <laughs> you ask me, I ain't going to take it off, but you can take it off. You know what I'm saying? You're going to mess up. You can do that. Yeah. Leave that to sure dog, they usually mess that up. Yeah, man. I mean, but they, <laughs> hey, they got they got they got me up there though, man. They got me ranked got up pretty sorted. good though. Yeah, somebody so. put me in there. Uh, uh, topology. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Topology. Yeah. That's what's up, man. They got they got some of my um they got they took a couple of my they took a lot of my wins off, but they still got me ranked second in Michigan. I think we got seven second. in your fights. They got me ranked second in uh Indiana oh, too. Down. They got me ranked eleventh in the U.S. Man West out of 703 fighters. And it gets crazy because the dude I was ranked fourth, I just beat him. You know what I'm saying? I just destroyed him. The number one ranked fighter in Indiana. You know what I'm saying? I just destroyed him. He ranked, ranked fourth easy. out of... He made easy. that look easy, but man. He was a tough I mean, guy. Yeah, dude was tough though, man. 185 er came down. You know, so I mean... It's, it's, I just put in that work, man. Got to grind and shine. For real. See me out here, I'm running miles. Working. That's crazy, man. I got to fight. I got to work on the day I got to fight. You know what I'm saying? But I got <laughs> so to get up. What I got to get up, go to work at 7 in the morning till 3.30, right? And then shoot the WXC to defend this title. But I mean, the whole time I'm about to be knocked out. Thanks for a long day, day off, yeah. man. Huh? A lot of kids got a day off. Man, I can't take that. I wish I could. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just got there. They ain't going to let me take no days off. Shoot. I'm going to just have to... Uh, be in beast mode, man. Warrior status. Work, sleep the whole way there. Sure, it'll probably. Who are riding with us? I thought we were taking a party bus. Sure, I yeah, wish. We thought about it. Uh, yeah, we thought about it, man. There's a lot of extra effort. Hell and yeah. Very iffy whether enough people would do it or not. But if I mean, if we said this. I mean, if Donna Frio, man, they give me a good opponent, man, for November the seventh. You know, what I'm saying it to Joe Lewis. I might, I might think about it. I might think about getting a party bus. You know what I'm me, I gotta call Cooper on the way back. Just because, I mean, because you know what I'm saying, Detroit, Red Wing Stadium, Joe Louis Arena. I mean, you'd have had a lot of famous people there, man, and them same lights could be shining on me because I know it's, they might as well make me the main event, man, because it's going down. They find me a good opponent, you know? Yeah. 
quality opponent, man. Like Willis is black. Like I mean, as of right now, they can't find no better opponent. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's why I can't wait because. Hey, he doesn't have that many fights under his belt, no, but he done fought some good people though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he's really done a good yeah, job yeah. with those he fought. Yeah, he only lost one person. Next week is gonna be two, but uh, it's going down though, man. Can't wait. So are you just waiting for an invitation for pro, or you got a dead set plan? No, I already, I already got, I already got my plan made out, man. You got people inviting you to come to their promotion and fight pro oh, now? Yeah, all that, man. Even down in North Carolina. Right on. Yeah, well, North Carolina, I had them, um, had them a couple times, even for the amateur. You know what I'm saying? Chicago. Uh, I got all type of promoters that hit me up in my inbox. I just didn't really take all the time to um, really, really get into it. You know what I'm saying? And, and pay that, pay them that much attention because, for one, if for me to go down to North Carolina right now, I love that. You know what I'm saying? Being that that's where I was from and stuff. And you know what I mean? Like that would be that would be great. You know what I'm saying? See all my people and stuff. It's just at the same time, a lot of sponsors, man, that I've had, um, like I had to learn. Like I got made a couple mistakes. Really, wasn't nothing major though. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I, I'd be on social media, I say something. You know what I'm saying? Like one time or twice, and. Boom, they like, oh no, we don't want that type, you know what I'm saying? So I done grown, and I really know, like, I'm a business, you know what I'm saying? It's like Jay Z said, man, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business, man. You know, so I yeah. mean, and whatever I do, I gotta carry myself in the right way. I mean, since I've been fighting and since I've been training, I've always been motivation to myself and people around me and inspiration, and just been grinding, showing people that you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's a little thing, whatever you can put your mind to, I mean, you can do it, you know, for real. And I'm starting to uh, really believe that, and I'm trying to make this dream become a reality. And I know it takes time to do that. Whatever whatever you want is going to take time for it, because whatever you want is worth it's worth. Yeah, nothing's you know overnight, man. It's not a half hour yeah. episode on TV. It's worth it, man. You know, life, life is a lot longer than that, you know. For real. I feel you, man. I gotta bite my tongue a lot because yeah. I'm a business, Hell you yeah, know. Man. And, you know what I'm saying? Look at Mayweather, man. He ain't just—he ain't just—he wasn't just born Mayweather, man. You know what I'm saying? He no, he's calculated. He's been grinding his whole life, man. He's been grinding his whole life doing that. He was—he just, just, just been doing it. He just kept doing the same thing over and over and over again until he was perfect at it. He was great. You know what I'm saying? Really ain't gonna say perfect until he was great at it, man. And that's what—that's the same thing I'm gonna do with this, man. The same right. thing I'm gonna do. With Mixed martial artists and boxing and everything. All my sparring partners is pro, you know what I'm saying? Whether they professional boxers, professional mixed martial artists. I'm a blue belt right now. I'm in jujitsu and everybody that I'm training with and, and roll with, blue belts, purple belts, you know what I'm saying, brown belts. I was just up in my black belt, uh, what was it? Yesterday? Yeah. No, it was Tuesday, t t today, Thursday. So, you know what I'm saying, get some good knowledge from him. But, uh, just gotta keep on the journey, man.